Hey guys, it's David from mdbootstrap.com. Welcome to the part two of our tutorial on how to build a portfolio page. So this is what we've built in the part one. And don't worry if you missed that, you're going to find the link to this tutorial in the description down below. Uh, but if you don't want to follow that, uh, you can also download the source code from our GitHub. So that's going to be your starting point. If you download this code, I'm going to show you how in a second, you're going to have this starting point. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is that we're going to enhance it with some cool amazing feature which comes with MDB Pro. So what's gonna change? So this is the new version which we're gonna build. As you can see, we change slightly an intersection which is now taking the full height of our page and looks stunning. Um, what we also change is that when you load the page for very first time, you're gonna see the animation on these elements uh, like that. Now we also change the navbar which is currently transparent uh, and when we start scrolling down it gets a color so all the uh, all the links all logo and whatever you have or you might have in navbar is visible and when you scroll to the top it's become transparent and it's giving like us this very nice and neat look uh, what else we gonna do we're gonna add the smooth scroll which allows us to go to a certain section on the page in this nice way. And finally, we also add this My Design section, which features our designs using Lightbox Gallery. So as you can see, we have this nice gallery with sliding effect. So we're gonna show, we're gonna learn how to build it using MDB Pro in this tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started. As I mentioned to you, you can download the starting point. So this one, this is the place where, where I'm going to start um, or actually where I'm going to continue our second part of the tutorial. So just download it either by downloading the zip file as a zip file or clone it using Git and just by copying this and cloning. I already have this downloaded. So I download it here and unzip it this over there. And this is our starting point. What we also have to do in order to build this page, we need to get MDB Pro. So if you uh, have already MDB Pro, just go to mdbootstrap.com, go to your orders and hit the download button next to MDB Pro UI Kit. Once you download it, just copy paste JS and CSS and replace them with the existing one because in the previous tutorial we've been using an open source version of MDB and now we're gonna use MDB Pro features. So copy paste, replace and that's how easy it is to upgrade to a pro version. Okay, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take care of our navbar. So as you can see, currently our navbar is static. Uh, it's fixed to the top. So when we scroll down, it stays on the top. We want to change that. So let's start with um, adding a fixed top class to our navbar. As I mentioned before, we are looking for effect like this one. And as you can see, this is a this transparent navbar is a perfect solution when you have this so-called full page intro because it's transparent, it doesn't interfere with the background which you use. So this is what we want to achieve. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this fixed top class which as you can see here makes our uh, our navbar fixed to the top so this is the previous version where it was uh, just on the top and it appeared and now we made it sticky okay let's move on so the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna get rid of our colors so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get rid of this navbar light and we already talked about it in the previous tutorials how we can change the colors of navbar using this predefined classes so if you missed it please check our previous tutorials uh, now let's add another class which is called navbar scroll 
So let's see what it does. Now, if you look at that, nothing really change uh, you can think of except for the colors but this is not what we are looking for but if we look closer at our navbar see what's gonna happen here when i start scrolling so as you can see as soon as i start scrolling down this navbar gets navbar scrolled class thanks to mdb pro which allows us to apply certain styles to our navbar when it's scrolled so now we can add some styles to it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use uh, css styles from uh, this example uh, from this example from docs which i showed you before so i'm just going to the mdb docs um, and i'm gonna copy this css uh, so this small piece of css code so we have uh, certain classes here uh, to style our links um, when they uh, are scrolled. Um, so let me show you how it works. Uh, let's paste it here into the style section. Obviously, we could keep it in the separate file. That That's the, the good uh, practice. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to show it here so it's more visible to you and you can see comments here so you you clearly understand what it does so color of the lines before scroll and after scroll so let's see how does it work now you can already see that the colors has changed to white and now when we start scrolling our background change color to white and our links also change color to something a little bit grayish Okay, before we move on, we have to fix one last thing. So uh, as you can see, we are missing this toggle icon over here. It works. I mean, it, we can still toggle our number. We can expand it, but we are missing this icon over here, which suggests which suggests to the user that he can expand it. So let's fix it. Let's navigate. Uh, let's get back to the docs uh, and let's go to the HTML part and let's copy this span and replace it um, replace the existing one with this new with this icon here so as you can see we are adding this icon over there and let's see how it looks now so now it's visible we are we have this icon over here and it works like a charm okay now let's take care of our intro so as you might remember we want to have this full width intro so we're gonna do it very easily because the only thing which we have to change is a height of our intro which is currently set to 500 pixel and now we're gonna change it to 100 vh so voila this is our result we have a full height so this will always um, use the full width um, of available size depending on the screen size so even on the mobile as you can see it's always taking full width so it's it's really cool option um, but you have to keep in mind um, that it's um, using this might be sometimes a little bit risky because you always have to adjust amount of the content which you have here because you know on the desktop you have a lot plenty of space over there so we can put a lot of uh, content over here but if you um, switch it to some mobile device we have less space than we had on the desktop so if we add too much context over here then it will basically go out of it and it's not gonna look as good as it looks right now so please keep it in mind although it's tempting to add more content over here always check your design on the mobile devices okay so since this is ready what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna add this animation over here and I'm not gonna explain it in the details because we covered that in a previous tutorial in the landing page uh, tutorial so if you want to learn how to do it please uh, refer to this tutorial please uh, watch it i'm just quickly gonna add missing attributes so these attributes are data toggle set to animation then data start on scroll 
data show on load we're gonna set it to false so it's gonna appear on the page load and data animation set to fade in and that's gonna give us this effect of fading on this h1 element so now let me quickly add it to the next element uh, other than that we won't have mm, this small delay so they are not showing uh, all at the same time but one after the other so we're gonna add some delay to to this element so i'm gonna add data delay 100 milliseconds let's check it yep one first and then second now let's add some um some paragraph over here uh, and let's say powered by mdb visual studio code and a coffee right and now let's copy this attribute so you can already see how easy it is to add animation to any element on the page using mdb and let me just add this one said 300 and the last one to 400 yeah 400 will be great and see the result yeah everything works like a charm now the other thing which we also learned in the previous um, tutorial is how we can achieve this smooth scroll so if we're gonna click now you can see that the page is just jumping and the effect which we want to achieve is that one so we want to have the smoothing the smooth scroll towards the section and then again i explained it in details in the previous tutorials so let's add this attribute which is data smooth scroll and let's set it to smooth scroll and let's check result yeah so it's working fine we can also add the same attribute to our buttons over here so my skills and my portfolio and they also works like a charm now let's move to this new section called my designs so i'm gonna add this section now and this section is after my projects so let's do it like section my designs let's make it comment let's duplicate this one let's add section here okay so for this section we're gonna use a component called lightbox so let's search for it we can set we can type either lightbox or gallery i'm gonna find it and this is example of how it works so let's have a look at the syntax over here so as you can see we have two uh, images over there um, so the first one is a thumbnail if you open this in new window you see this is a small one and then you have a full size image in the full resolution and the reason behind it is that makes our page much faster because when the page loads it will load the thumbnail first and the full image is loaded when you click on it so it's much faster uh, to download the thumbnails first and then uh, to load remaining full size full quality images um, okay so let's add this one here let me duplicate this row because i want to have two rows let's have a look and a preview it's here okay we are missing title so let's also get title uh, which is this one and let's call it my designs and probably we'll have to center it so let's add class text center yeah okay and now let me quickly update uh, images over here we also need to add some uh, margins over there so let me add margin first i want to add margin to each column so i'm gonna 
add this to all columns so i'm gonna say margin bottom four save it and as you can see we have these buttons and obviously the reason behind it is that on a smaller screen they will just fold and collapse one below the other so if we add this margin button only to the row then this margin would be only between this third and fourth image right because this row and that this images like one two three they wouldn't have margin between each others uh, okay uh, now let me update the images here so uh, if you copy if you clone this repository you're gonna find that there are already prepared images for you so each image has a full resolution and miniature like that and a full size uh, so let's uh, update this images links over here so first it is the first one is thumbnail so let me change it to image uh, dm yeah but okay but now we have one two three one two three again so we have to update numbers to four five and six okay so now the thumbnails are correct but if we click on it we see that we are getting old images so let's update now the uh, full size images so i'm gonna uh, do like image d and let's fix the numbers so we have one two three here now we want to have this four and a five and six okay let's see if this works fine yeah everything works like a charm finally let's add uh, some material design style to our gallery so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna round the corners and add some shadow to our images so let's add uh, some classes here so let's add rounded and shadow one strong which will give us this nice look this shadow and rounded corners okay so our page is ready now uh, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope that you found this um, tutorial easy to follow um, and the same for uh, mdb components as you can see you don't need much coding you don't need much classes you don't need much customization you just need to work on classes and some predefined components um, finally we're gonna work on the contact form but this uh, gonna have a dedicated tutorial so we're gonna learn how to actually make this uh, contact form this form to send a real emails to ourselves so we're gonna use the backend technology for this and i'm gonna show you how you can achieve that using mdb uh, now in the description down below you're gonna find a link to the final project so i strongly encourage you to play with it i strongly encourage you to create your version of portfolio if something doesn't work you can always download this final code and compare your code with mine to find and the difference to spot the difference uh, if something doesn't work and if you play with it also don't forget to join our facebook group you're obviously gonna find the link in the description down below so play with it and show us your uh, project once it's ready or if you have any issues or questions regarding programming also please don't hesitate to uh, ask them to post them on our group so thank you again for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave us a like don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video